Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to show you how to work with the Posts and Media Gallery Carousels mode. Carousels are an attractive way to present relevant content in a small space with an attractive and captivating layout. In this video, we are going to use a Posts module with Queries Portfolio to create our carousel examples. But please note that it's possible to create any type of carousel from blog news to page to shop products or media carousels of images and videos. Remember that the Media Gallery module has almost all the same options as the Post module, apart from the fact that it displays media and not custom post types and that is generally used in conjunction with the lightbox. There are some minor differences, like the Fluid Heights option, that is only available for the Posts module. So, please note that all the features we see in this video are also available through the Media Gallery module. To activate the Carousel mode, just open a Posts or Media Gallery module and in the tab General, activate the Carousel Layout option. Thanks to this option, it's possible to switch from grid to carousel mode easily. Pretty flexible. If you have more carousels on the same page, the only thing you need to know is that you also need to have a unique ID. This is automatically generated, so it's generally not a problem. Just remember to change it if you duplicate a carousel. Now that we've activated the carousel mode and we know the ID must be unique, let's find out the main options in the module tab. In the Module tab, it's possible to define the main carousel options. The first group of important options that are present in the Module tab are those related to the number of visible elements displayed by the carousel active state. Here it's possible to set how many elements to have for desktop, tablet and device. For example, it's possible to display two or four elements just to try some variations. You can see that on the desktop we have four elements, on tablet three and on device one. Let's go see it thanks to the practical responsive tool that is part of the page builder. In fact, on tablet we have three items visible at a time, while on device one visible at a time. Perfect. Now I get back to the desktop mode with the four visible items. I set back a standard three elements for now. Unlike the grid mode, where the ratio of the thumbnails is located in the blocks tab, because the variation can also be applied to a single specific element, for the carousel mode, the thumbnail ratio option is in the module tab. Let's test a different ratio. For example, three to four to understand it. or we can test a square that is referred to as one-to-one. -one. Note that the last value of the ratio dropdown is fluid. When this option is activated, you can change the height of the thumbnails on a percentage value relative to the height of the browser viewport. This way, it's possible to create a fluid carousel where the elements occupy the height of the browser perfectly. An example is the carousel portfolio of the Uncode demo. Shall we see how to make this creative layout? Follow me. First, I make the row full width and eliminate any padding. Let's save the row settings. I open again the Post module, navigate to the Module tab, and for fluid height, I set 100%. I set the item's gap to zero, and I set the dot's position to inside, which we'll see later. Let's save. We're already well underway. Now we have to show the title of each thumbnail. There's a video dedicated to thumbnails, whether they're coils or carousels, so go fast on this one. On the Blocks tab, I set Overlay Coloration on Gradient Bottom, 
Overlay visibility on visible. Overlay animation on animated. Overlay text visibility on visible. Overlay text animation on animated and animation type on bottom to top. And I set the content vertical position on bottom. I save the module and here we are. I also add a bit more padding. Cool, right? Here we have a title that hides on hover and the animation is pleasant. Shall we turn this into a full screen header? Nothing simpler. All we need to do is set only one visible item value at a time. So I go in the module tab and I set one item for all the views. What a transformation. Of course, I could have a nice big title in the middle or show more information, but let's not take too long. Otherwise we risk losing the point on the carousels. I go back a few saves thanks to the action history so we can continue the tutorial on the main carousel options. In the video tutorial dedicated to thumbnails, we have already described the elements list. Just remember that thanks to these options, it's possible to choose which elements from the list will be part of the thumbnails. To make you better understand this option, let's set the block layout to content under image. In this mode, any additional elements will be shown below the media and not at the time of hover. So it is clearer to show you the element settings. With the elements, it is possible to add or remove elements to customize the thumbnails. It is also possible to drag them to change the order, so you have full control. Following, there are a series of useful options such as the transition type, which can be slides or fade, the auto rotate slides option, which specifies the automatic timeout before a carousel progress occurs, and the navigation speed, which indicates the transition speed. The loop option makes the carousel infinite. When you get to the last element, the sequence is repeated. In a few words, the carousel duplicate last and first items to get loop illusion. The overflow visible option makes the elements overflow the container, getting rid of the cropping area. You can see that activating this option, the elements outside the carousel stage are visible. I personally love this option because the carousel becomes very modern and dynamic. Then there are the navigation dots and if the overflow visible is not active, the navigation arrows. Thanks to these options, it's possible to add, remove or modify the navigation controls appearance. Each of these options has settings such as spacing, skin and position control. Following, there are three options that work when the visible overflow option is active. In fact, they refer to the not active elements or those that are outside of the main stage. It's possible to set the external elements as semi-transparent. Here you can see that these elements are semi-transparent and this effect helps to focus on the active elements. Then it's possible to see the elements as scaled and not clickable, so that the elements outside the stage can only be dragged and not clicked. Here in action you can see how the external elements scale and this helps to focus on the active ones. The last option is Stage Padding. Stage Padding option adds left and right padding onto Stage Wrapper. This option is very useful for creative carousels. It creates an effect where the side elements come out of the stage of the carousel. To better understand this option, we set only one visible element. So in the items options, I set one item on desktop, one item on tablet, and we already have one item on device. I save the settings, and here we are with our first stage padding carousel. Let's test some other variation. We see that increasing the value increases the lateral space and the focus is more and more brought to the central element. It gives a very modern and dynamic impression.
The carousel can also be used to create a slideshow, and it's very simple. We make sure to remove the stage padding and the possible overflow visible option. Make sure to have one visible element at a time and just set the transition to fade. That's it. In a few clicks, we have turned a dynamic stage padding carousel into a slideshow. This is the power of Uncode. As always, when working with a posts and media gallery module, which are quite advanced and have many options, I remember that there is always the Wireframes plugin. Here you can find a lot of ready-made styles that you can insert in the page. Let me search for a carousel from the available sections layout. Shall we try this carousel? Here we go. Nice infinite loop carousel layout with shadows. Let's try it again. I remove the section and I open the wireframes again. Let's try this carousel with dark background and scaled items. That's it. This is a nice layout. Thanks to all these options combined together, it's possible to create any type of carousels as shown in the Yunko demo. Now it's your turn to start creating impressive carousels for your new site.